work it on your CNC and you are stressed trying to get this shape to look like this shape on easel, fear not, I got you, dude. It's not as hard as it may seem. <laughs>pull out a square and see what we can do with it so most of the time I use this personally making juice grooves on cutting boards I like to have a rounded corner instead of that bit going ur, ur. I'll, I don't like when it does that so so I'm not sure why but I was originally trying to edit these points and move them in and out don't know why I thought that would work like I tried to do like that. Yeah, that's not, <laughs> not effective. So uh, we're not gonna do that. In order to do this, I drove myself crazy trying to figure out how to do it, but it is very, very, very simple and I felt pretty dumb when I figured it out. So I'm sure there are people out there struggling. So this one's for you. It is this easy, watch this, ready? You click on your shape, you go to not cut, you're going to shape. You click on your shape, you go down here. Do you see this right here? Corner radius. I know it's insane, but it's as simple as this. Watch. Yep, it was that easy. So, there you go. If you're struggling trying to figure out how to make a rounded rectangle or rounded corners on your square, it's literally the button that says corner radius. Mm -hmm. I know, I told you you'd feel dumb. <laughs> if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the buttons, do all that good stuff.